Hey everyone, it's Marissa, and I have some cards that I wanted to show you guys. Um, I hope everybody has a wonderful Wednesday, which is hump day, and we are halfway through the week. So, let's get started. So, the first card, I used this new stamp set, and it's by Mommy Lee, Lee Hay. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but this one is called Under the Sea 2015. And you guys have probably seen this in my one of my current videos for my hauls. So if you are new to my channel, I always do haul videos showing what I purchased and then do card videos when I use it. So I use this stamp set. And then I use this reverse confetti die. And this one does not have a name. But it has all these windows, um, these three size different windows to make shaker cards. These are specifically for shaker cards. And then there's like the little confetti cutouts. There's a star, there's hearts, flowers, and regular like sequins. So don't mind my hand. I have paint on it. So that's that. And then you guys probably seen this card before, but it's not the card that I made again. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Okay, so I previously made a card, kind of the same concept, using it again because I just love the water and the whole mermaid and the fish and the marine scene. So if you guys remember, I made this card a while ago, okay? So using this stamp set, I made something similar and I made this one and it came out super cute look at how cute what I did was I Copic colored the octopus the starfish and the little fish and then I um, hand stamped the rest of the elements like the bubbles the seahorse the shell in the background as you can see here and then the um, different elements in the background. And then I taped down the fish, the sequin, the starfish, and the octopus. So the only one that's moving around in there is the Little Miss Mermaid over here. See? So I thought this came out super cute. I love the mermaid. And then I used different sequins as well as these really tiny, they're like flat back pearls kind of but they're really really tiny so I use the clear one for this I don't know if you could see it right there there's some right there there's some right there but this card came out super cute I love it so there's the first card the second card was very simple I use this neat and tangled card um, or not card but stamp set and it is called Send Pretty Mail. So that is the stamp set. And why is my phone having a hard time focusing? Okay, and then this is the card. Like I said, it was super easy. Um, but it came out so cute. Like if I have like some happy mail to send, I can just throw it in there. What I did was I just stamp the different elements in the background with some black bursa fine and of course my favorite um, thing to do is put some clear embossing powder so that when I heat set it it has that shiny clean finish and then I just kind of like I did kind of like a watercolor effect where I just colored in um, the flowers and the, the little leaves and the little bubbles here little circles I did it where it just scribbled in so that it, it wasn't um, re how do you say it? it wasn't nice and neat so the whole concept of it was just kind of like a watercolor look so I thought that came out really cute super easy simple and then the last card I used this big old stamp and this is by this is where I got the stamp. It's called ImpressCardsAndCrafts.com and it's called Pen and Ink Peony. 
and this is a real beautiful stamp you guys so I use this and then I use this stamp set again because I like the font of the happy birthday and I used the darker pink and I used this color of my Zig Clean Color watermarker and this one is in pink and this is another simple but yet so pretty this card look how gorgeous this card is it's so simple so what I did was I used gold embossing powder for the stamp and then what I did was I colored in all the white spots within the stamp and then I had to get um, a paper towel and then wipe it down because um, some of the ink was getting on the embossed part so it was getting all on my hands and on the paper because I actually had to do it two times. This was my second time doing it because I had like pink marker all over here because I didn't wipe it off the um, embossing parts the first time. So I just got a paper towel and just kind of wiped it down so that there's no marker residual left on the gold embossing. And then I used this happy birthday stamp and then right here you can see I used the um, these little itty bitty flat backs here. So look at how gorgeous that is and look at how it shines. This has to be my favorite card. So those are my cards. I hope you guys like them. Um, comment down below if you have any questions about these cards. I hope everybody enjoys their Wednesday. And until the weekend, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Bye for now.